On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are back in the car warehouse with my 2003 BMW X5, and today we're gonna get the brakes done. What is going on guys? I am Watch Chairgo and like I said today we are here with my quarter million mile 2003 BMW X5 powered by the 3 liter inline 6, one of the greatest engines BMW ever made. Yesterday we got the entire engine bay buttoned back up, cooling system is brand new, air filter, oil change, we did all of the maintenance on this car and now today we're going to chase down the brakes. The brakes are really the last thing it needs, it didn't even need brakes. You guys saw the brakes are actually flawless but I'd already bought the entire kit, so we're gonna change them all. It's getting uh, new rotors, new pads, it's getting the everything treatment right there, and it's going to be very, very nice. So, let's get the quick jacks underneath this car, get it up in the air, pull all the wheels off, and uh, we should be able to just roll right underneath it and pull the calipers and the brake rotors off. And last night, we had to go wash it because there was so much dirt caked into all of the suspension and brakes that it was really, you, you could barely see the bolts. So now I'm hoping that I got enough high pressure water in there to clean all that off. Also, welcome back to another very chilly day in the warehouse. I've been over here working for quite a few hours already. We've been uh, cleaning over there, a little wall vacuuming action, and uh, we're gonna make a big time-lapse video of actually vacuuming all the walls because everybody requested it, and I had to get everything moved for the concrete guys that will be here at like eight in the morning, seven in the morning. So it's gonna be a very early day tomorrow. I went ahead and got all the trash picked up out of here, cleaned up the hole for them, and they're gonna cut this whole section out. I can't wait for the brand new concrete, and as soon as that's done, lifts. Real progress, real progress, guys. Once we got this thing taken apart, we found out that the front brakes are basically, they're probably 90% brand new. Uh, the rear brakes are actually in pretty good shape too. They're probably at 50% or so. There's a, there's a little bit of pad wear there, but if you look down in there, it's totally acceptable. It's tough to get a good angle, but you can see lots of pad material left. What had actually gone wrong was this brake pad lining sensor broke. So this could have been a $10 fix, but I'm giving it away. Might as well hook somebody up. Well, the brakes are pretty easy. You pull the caps off there. I already pulled them off and there's uh, two Allen heads in there. They look like maybe sixes. Then I pulled out the brake lining wear sensor right there. And now it's time to actually remove the broken wire. So uh, this should just lift up. And of course, it's not as easy as it should be. There we go. Pry that up carefully. There we go. There's one of the holders and we'll kind of work that back around here. There's a piece of rubber holding that on. There you go, just like that. And now, do that one more time. And another cover. And there you have it. That's That was the main problem. We'll just get this unplugged and be ready for the sensor change. A lot of spiders hanging out in there, but everything looks good. Here's our new sensor and it's time put everything back in its case. This thing snaps in up there, and the uh, actual rubber boot down there snaps into the bottom to seal that up. There we go. Much better. And then just follow it back around and snap everything into place. All right, all right, I cheated a little bit. I might've broke this loose beforehand here. <laughs> uh, this was really tight, I had to stand on it. That of course is the retainer for the uh, desk itself, and then we've got those two bolts to deal with here. I went ahead and rigged up a, uh, well, we've got a seven millimeter on a three eighths to quarter ex adapter there, and that should be the ticket for this job. Should be the ticket. Oh, there we go. Hopefully this doesn't get stuck. Probably have to, uh, yeah, probably have to go ahead and get the ratchet out beforehand. We'll get the top one broken loose. Then we should be able to slide the caliper off, push the piston back in, swap these three parts real quick, and uh, clean up with some brake clean and put it back together. Super simple job. It is just brakes. Nothing crazy about them. 
BMW brakes are actually some of the nicest, easiest ones to do, I think. There's our retaining clip. And this thing has to be about off of here. I don't see what on earth could be holding it on. Both bolts are all the way out. Come on, any day now. This is taking way too long. Ah, there we go. Might have hurt a little bit, but it came loose. All right, like I said, these brake pads, they looked excellent. If I can get them off of there, I'll show them to you. Pads were in really good shape. Time for new ones. This rotor had basically frozen on to the uh, emergency brake hub assembly here. Uh, I ended up just spraying it with brake clean and letting it sit for a bit. Okay, maybe I used the, the normal mechanic method of using brake clean. Uh, I poured a lake onto it and then I tapped with the hammer two times and it popped off. I hit this thing like a hundred times going around it and turning it. You can see I was sitting there turning it, going around and around and around would not come off. Uh, apparently, good old CRC's brake clean solved that problem for me. But, let's see here. Should be ready to come off any time now. Whenever you want to let me pull you off of there. <laughs> All right, time for the new rotor. Line up our retaining screw here. Wow, that literally dropped right on. Cool. And now we put back our retaining screw. It might help the next person get this off if you just put a little bitty coating of oil behind that. Don't put grease or anti seize behind it. Just like a quick little coating of oil, uh, it'll be enough to keep the moisture out. That's kind of the hope there. There's the caliper bracket. And instead of the, sometimes these have external torques. Luckily mine is just a 16. So it was super easy to take apart. This side is fully reassembled. We got the BMW brake pad paste under there and slides are greased up. Go ahead, Jacob. Yeah, there we go. She runs. Everything is back together. We are ready to install the sensor. That was the original problem. It just snaps in to the brake assembly there. I missed a clip, so I went back and fixed it. That uh, brake pad wear sensor has to route beside the brake line exactly and then it takes all the slack out of it so now it shouldn't rip now we fixed the original problem and now i can put this wheel back on and we're going to run around and put the other brakes on this thing it should take no time at all and get it back on the ground ready to be detailed and get new tires new cheap tires are the name of the game for a commuter car like this uh just keep changing the tires and keep driving the car the x5 brake job is done and that's pretty much it for the mechanical stuff now we have to finish up the one interior piece that window regulator on the rear passenger door. So uh, I'm gonna throw the wheels on real quick. Okay, window regulator. Uh, Jake got this door mostly apart. The door panel was off for us and everything. Uh, now all we have to do is unplug the motor. Maybe. There we go, there's the motor. Uh, pull the motor off because we do have to save it. The new regulator just comes with the cable and metal piece. So here comes the motor. This is a Torx. T30, this should be a quick job. All right, save the motor. Uh, luckily the teeth aren't gone. There's still a lot of definition in them. Uh, it was close to destroying this thing though. You can see there's all the cable. So uh, when you start hearing the cracking, maybe you don't keep running the window and it'll keep that from exacerbating the issue. Okay, all the rest are tens. Uh, this one, looks like there's three of them. One's up here. Drop one for fun. Okay, that worked. Just pushing, it was taped up at one point. Right there, there's a hole to pull the Nut off, that's holding it on. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, maybe. Come on. Get this cable out of the way. Almost there. 
I went ahead and slid the window back up. I ended up breaking two of the tabs off the plastic follower so I could position this thing where I wanted. It made it very easy to get out fast. Uh, obviously, that's, man, parts went everywhere. Anyway, now we can install our new regulator and uh, we'll just slide the window back down into it. Uh, obviously, we need to run it down to, well, the point where we can get to that screw hole, which will have to come down just a little bit and then we'll be able to attach the window again. Well, you know what they say, windows do be regulating. We now have our window regulator all back in this bad boy, which means I'm finally done with all the mechanical work on this car, train, brake. I'm done with the mechanical work on this car and it is ready to go to detail. Oh, and tires. Gotta get tires. So I will find out where I can get some tires tomorrow and I'll go get those on there. Uh, they're gonna be cheap tires for a daily, like I was saying. Uh, we now have a metal bin in the shop, which is a cool place to throw things. I figured with the hundreds of pounds that came out of this, I should recycle some of it. I also spent the morning cleaning the trash out of here. And uh, of course, tomorrow, huge update on the concrete. Uh, they'll have a lot more done tomorrow. It was all supposed to be done today but that, that didn't happen at all. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the X5 series up till now. A uh, couple more episodes and I'll go back to the original episode, which is, if you want to enter, I guess there's still time. The one which is, uh, here's how you can win my BMW X5. That's the one I'll reference when I'm looking at the comments. And uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. That is it for today, guys. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjr.com where you can get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I'll talk to you next time look at all that progress over there almost all the metal down now i need probably the scissor lift just to get up there because that is up in the air those sheets weigh at least a solid 50 pounds each